Hello there, my name is Ismas and welcome to another Blender 2.8 tutorial and uh, this time we're going to be looking at UV unwrapping in Blender and uh, this is the object we're going to be UV unwrapping, mainly this uh, object here, this mesh here. Uh, the other meshes are very quite, are very simple, like uh, if you wanted to UV unwrap this, you just select it and uh, I hit you to unwrap it uh, very easily. Uh, we're going to look at uh, this here, uh, which is more complicated because if you tried UV just hitting you and then unwrap, this is what you would get. This is what you would end up with. And I've already set up uh, a material to show me the stretching uh, that uh, this and cause uh, the UV island creates, uh, as you can see here. Uh, so let me show you how to set that up. So I just added a texture, image texture, and then created a new image. Uh, then make sure that uh, the generate type is set to UV grid, and uh, that is uh, what you will have there. You can connect this directly to the diffuse, so something like this, and then to, uh, so if I preview this, I can see uh, the stretching we have. So, so now let's see how we can add in seams to create better UVs for this because this is really a mess. Uh, so you can go in and uh, manually start adding, selecting different loops and adding seams, but uh, that takes a lot of time and uh, usually you never end up with uh, good UVs doing that uh, by yourself manually. So what I usually do is uh, uh, first create UVs are uh, you using the smart UV projection uh, this, this will create a very basic and a very flat uh, UVs uh, with minimum to no UV stretching uh, as you can see there is almost no stretching you can see here uh, so uh, but uh, the problem with this is that uh, it creates a lot of unused space you can see here uh, this is all unused space uh, up here, there is a lot of unused space, and uh, it also creates a lot of UV islands. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have a lot of small UV islands, and uh, if you score in here, you can see we have a lot of UV, small UV islands. And uh, if you start, if you try to texture this, you can see we will have a lot of seams everywhere. So we need to add our seams ourselves, uh, but I uh, use this as a baseline to start from. So uh, to use this as a baseline, we, we need to go under UV, uh, seams from islands. Uh, this will create seams uh, from the islands created by the smart UV projection uh, so that we can use that as our baseline uh, So or starting point. So now if we hit you uh, to unwrap, you can see using the seams we have created from this uh, seams from island, uh, we have a now a more, we have UV islands uh, that we can easily edit uh, by clearing and marking more seams in different areas. So uh, we want to start clearing some of the seams we have here, um, but uh, I don't I don't really like uh, selecting the seams from here and clearing them or adding them directly here. I just like using uh, the UV islands, the UV space here, and uh, do everything directly here. And uh, the feature I usually turn on is this uh, sync. Uh, what is it called? U sync UV sync. UV sync selection, uh, so that any edge you select, it can show you that edge in the viewport. You can see uh, that edge here. And it also shows you uh, the other islands that are sharing that edge. So when I clear uh, the seam uh, for this edge here, it will also clear uh, the seam for these, for these islands, uh, which will connect uh, those islands, uh, these islands, to this seam which will maximize uh, the UV space here so or utilize this, the UV space that we have here so let's do that and see so if I use Ctrl E to clear the seam I've also gone on and uh, turned on live UV unwrap to see uh, the, the, the results that I make as a UV unwrap here as I make changes to this UV island so you can see that uh, the islands we had here have been connected to this uh, island we had here uh, but uh, we still have this space here. So what I'm going to do is uh, use the circle select uh, to select, to separate uh, these islands are here to better use, use uh, this, uh, uh, this UV space. So Ctrl E, clear seam, and you can see uh, those have been separated and uh, then uh, that UV space is used better. Uh, but uh, we still have this here, so I'll just select this edge loop uh, and also clear that, clear the seams for that. You can see uh, this is uh, the side, I think the, the opposite side because you can see these are two identical 
nearly identical uh, island. So this section is this section. Uh, so let's do this for that si side as well. So control, uh, circle select this, control E, maxim. You can see now we are getting a more efficient uh, use for our UV space. Uh, also, we still have a lot of islands here. You can see if I turn off this UV sync and select everything, I can select uh, individual islands like this. You can see we have a lot of them and uh, we want to reduce on, on those uh, seams, sorry, UV islands, so that we don't have a lot of seams on our object when we are texturing. Uh, as you can see here, you can see we have a seam here, we have a seam here, we have a seam here. Uh, we have a lot of seams in different areas and that's uh, because of the number of UV islands we, UV islands we have in our uh, UV map. So let's continue reducing on that number by merging the different UVs, uh, UV islands. So if I select uh, this loop here, I'm using control and then right sele left select, I can see that uh, this uh, island can be merged to this island here. As you can see that uh, they're sharing that edge loop. So I can control E, clear seam, and you can see they have been merged. And uh, if I go on to UV sync again, to this island selection, you can see I, it's now a single island. So I can also do the same for this. Let's see. Uh, you can see this can be merged to this. So let's do this. Right now, at this stage, I don't really need to be looking at this uh, 3D space. So I can just maximize uh, this space here and uh, start merging uh, the different UV islands. So let's see, uh, this can be merged to that, and uh, this, this, let's see, and this, and uh, I'm trying to select that. You can clear that and you can see we have, I, you can also see that uh, this can be merged to this main island, so I can clear that and you can see now we have a bigger scene. Uh, so let's also select this. Uh, it can be made to this uh, down here. Uh, but before we do that, let's first match uh, the smaller islands uh, to smaller islands until we get one uh, larger island uh, before we match uh, the smaller island to a larger island. Uh, this will reduce on the number of seams and also make sure that uh, we are not uh, removing seams uh, where we need seams. So let's select this. You can see it will be my to a larger island and we don't want that. Uh, so let's select another theme that can be my to a smaller island. And you can see now we have a larger island. And uh, let's see, okay. Okay, uh, we can clear this and uh, you can see how we are getting a more larger island. So this has been made to the main large island, uh, but uh, I think it's not too bad, so I'll leave it there. Uh, let me continue finding uh, smaller, other smaller islands. You can zoom in and uh, see. Okay, so if I select this, it will be merged to this side. Let me see if the results we get there. I think that's okay. So let's select this side. Uh, let me select, uh, this can be my to this, so I'll do that. And, uh, let's see, uh, okay. Uh, this can be my to this, but uh, the problem is that uh, this here, I uh, will go on the inside here and uh, that can create a, little, a few issues. Let me show you what I mean. So if I clear this, you can see we are starting, it is going to change it may cause uh, some stretching. As you can see, when we made that, uh, this started curving in, this area started curving in. So let me clear that so that I can show you how it was. You can see it was straight, but uh, when I cleared that, it started curving in, and uh, that will create a few issues for us. For us. So let me just mark that and uh, let that uh, be straight as it is. Uh, let's see other areas we can mark. So I can mark this island to this island here. Uh, let's see, uh, this will con be connected to the inside here, uh, which will create a few issues for us. Uh, let's see. So we have these smaller, smaller islands. 
let's see and uh, you can see they can be merged to these other smaller islands so and uh, we want to merge smaller islands uh, to smaller islands until we get something large uh, so uh, we can do this and uh, make sure that uh, you you don't see any large island selected when you merge when you select uh, these small ones and then we can clear you can see they have been merged into larger islands uh, you see we have a seam here that we can clear uh, that is creating a tear and that will also create a tear in our textures so we can clear that you can see it's also happening down here 